and today we are not actually on the hacks as you can probably see as you'll probably notice um that's loud <laughs> wow um but anyway I'd, uh, I didn't have enough hacks so I couldn't do it so but I will give you you know a hack to start on the spot now if you want um if you ever see where are they If you ever see this flower, the azure bluette, well, it's a very posh name for a flower. Um, but anyway, if you ever see it, see it, if you ever see it, and then say, we've got three sheep, one's grey. One's black and one's brown, so you literally have no white ones. And you have three of these. You can get them, put them in either you know a little crafting table, but I suppose this is kind of quicker if you just do this. And I don't think it is these ones. That's light grey dye, but then um, is it this? No, I know there is a flower that gives you white dye. Oh yeah, it's the lily of the valley. Guys, sorry. Look at that. You can get free. And then get the sheep. Dye it white. Kill it. Or you can, um... Kill them. And then dye it white. And like so, you can see it works. And then, so if you had um, a realistic situation where you had um, 50 million skeletons burning in the daylight. Um, and you had no white sheep and you really needed like some wool or something and there was well they're dying there was a sheep you can get a bone and then don't feed it you get bone meal you can make free white dye and dye it, you actually get more out of that instead of trying to find it as well. Another fun fact is did you know that if you spawn a sheep and shear it, as soon as it eats the grass and it turns into dirt, literally watch, as soon as it eats the grass, it will get its wool back. Eat the bloody dumb grass, thank you. And that's actually how you make um, sheep farms. Painting. Really, paintings are entities, that's so annoying. Not kill. Clear. So I gotta redo the paintings and then we'll be able to get started on um we'll be able to get started on um finally finishing this up. Okay, I got some of that. So now you have to do this with patterns. You literally have to just, you know, place the blocks around them. Let 
very, very annoying. The man behind slaughter. I remember I was trying to not get, you know, same patterns, but I'm not really going to do that. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Got some paintings. Yep, there we go. Okay. So how we're going to finish it, actually, is by doing the dining tables. You can do it wherever you want, but I think I might um actually measure it out. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Okay, so it's thirty long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So what you want to do, guys, is just kind of you know, get a good block to measure with and then maybe, um, well, maybe scaffolding would be good or something. But then just, you know, get them set. You want to get the centre of your build. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, no, it's half 18, um, 9. <coughs> okay, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay, so that is our exact, pretty much, you know, just like kind of centre. Just of the dining room, though, like, you know, what you can see. Not all the other rooms, obviously. But then you're going to want to get dark oak wood planks and some spruce wood stairs. By the way, guys, if you've not done any of the stuff before, then you probably want to. But this is a good way to um, make dining tables. But what you want is... A redstone block, a piston, some minecarts, rail, dark, uh, <coughs> planks, and some spruce stairs, and a, either an enchantment table or an end frame. I mean, uh, yeah, end portal frame. Uh, and where you are going to put seats, you are going to want to maybe like put them out like this, that's what I'm going to do anyway. Uh, you're going to want to put an enchantment table, obviously. Well, not obvious. You might have done it before. Uh, and then you want to put, you know, just kind of like a little block on top of it. You can do some little crouchy crouch action. Action. <laughs> or um, some just, you know, I don't know, like side, side block action. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, and then you're going to want to put a rail and a minecart on top of every each and single one. And then you're going to want to try and just, you know, kind of break the block under. 
The reason I would use end portal frames if I was in creative, which weirdly enough I'm not now because I use enchantment tables most of the time, but that is because of the book. So, for example, you know, if you were facing it a different way somehow, then it wouldn't do that. And you want to just get the stair, the stairs, um, <coughs> and you know, kind of just put it the w the way, like you know, whatever you where you want it to face. I might not stick with that, but then you know, just get some pistons or like facing to you want the pusher side, pusher, pusher side to be facing towards, towards, I keep doing weird things like that, towards um, each stair, so it'll push it if I activate it, and then you want to just activate it by putting a redstone block or something. Redstone block. And then you kind of should push it. And you want to break all your redstone blocks and pistons. And what's cool is that actually kind of gives it a little, um, you know, outline thing. And you can ride it. It is kind of hard though sometimes. But uh, I know you can kind of... I hate it when that happens, but I know that you can hold it. Uh, wait, and it will click. But yeah, then you can actually just do that and it... You know, um, it looks like a seat, and then maybe you'll you can get, yeah. Then you get some <coughs> some cake, and what can we use as like maybe you know just birthday hats, possibly. Um, maybe just wool, but I don't really like that. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um. It wasn't me, you just hear a noise, it was like, mm hmm. Sounds like a bit, it's a bit creepy, isn't it? I can't really find anything to do it. And by the way, if you want, which I pops, probably pop there. Yeah. Words possibly might do is um you can put like little banners or something around um like custom banners which I think would be cool like a five nights at Freddy's banner okay first table done and then you, you're gonna want to just go <coughs> from your first chair you know maybe if it's pulled out and go two blocks and then you're going to want to do you know your piston a seat and then power that and then wherever that seat is is where it'll be like I'm not sure you know if it'll, if you want it to be you know pulled out or not but Wherever that seat is, is where it should be. Kind of like this. And this one is actually going to be a bit different, I think. If I can get it right. That is. Make a full cake there. Just one that's not being took a bite taken out of it, took and taken, I don't know. Get carpet. You want purple and yellow, but you can do, you know, a different one, but that's you know what I'm gonna do. It's a glitch it won't let me um pick it up there like it you know, it just won't let me touch it. And I'm just gonna do that because I think that that looks quite cool. And if you want you can even maybe just, you know, kinda like outline it with the table maybe if you want but you might you know you you know, words you might not want to do that but that's you know that's just what i'm gonna do like that i think that looks quite cool and then maybe that's kind of just like the chill one and then what, like that's this one's like kind of you know it's the birthday one so line 
and cyan for the birthday that's what i'm gonna do yeah and then you can just outline it like this if you want you don't have to like i've said it's a choice but i think it'll look just little fine details just make it look you know just so much more better by the way them other ones you can maybe put you know in some little rideable seats if you want but um i don't think i'll do too many you're not really men or anyway but it's just you don't know which you know kind of one you're gonna sit in and it's just like would you like to sit in this one it's just like no i want to sit in that there's too many buttons too many ride things and you can actually make random patterns with terracotta so if you um if you wanted to do that instead of um if you or get a different stairs or just something like that but if you wanted to you know kind of just okay i can't the can't the both kind of birthdays but that one's just not as good uh if you wanted to make a weird terracotta pattern instead you could i suppose I got an idea. You could maybe get some pans, some glass pans, and just make sure that it's. Oh, that's annoying. There needs to be a full cake and do that, and it's kind of like little wine bottles, little glass wine bottles. It's not really that clear, but it'd be cool. Yeah, that looks quite cool, I think. Maybe, um. This, this one can, can just be. That's like for the adults to chill. That can be like a little fruit shoot or something. You know what I mean? Uh, and there we go. That's nearly this area done. So what you're going to want to do is get a random selection of fences. You know, I don't know which one you want. But uh, I think I might go with spruce and birch. That's what I'm going to do with this. And then I don't know how to do banner letters, but uh, I'll just create <coughs> some random cool banner. Yeah, and then where your cap is, you're gonna just want to do, you know, kind of like a little just. Alternate in pattern. I oh, sorry, just a lot quite now. <coughs> and you can, you know, do it at both sides. You can just choose that to do it at this side, whatever you want. But I'm just gonna do it at this side, right near where the hallways are. And I think I actually figured out where my entrances want, where I want them to be. And I'm thinking because this area isn't really occupied by anything, I'll do it here and make a little check out or something maybe. Make it more, you know, just a bit kind of realistic. <laughs> I know it's not really meant to be that realistic, but maybe it should be. Mm, dun, dun, dun. You don't have to put it at the edge of the carpet, by the way. You can put it wherever you want, really, but I'm just saying what I think looks good for the sake of the build. But, you know, it's your opinion. You can ch you can choose what you want. That was lucky it isn't. Not. Alternate pattern. And then I don't know, just make some weird random banners. And you can just, um, you know, like hang it up a little bit if you want. I suppose that's kind of why you mix and that's annoying. Come on. Please be this one. Yes. Get in. <laughs> uh, how could I do this? And you're going to just want to put some chains maybe. I'm not sure, you know, you can use something else if you want. But that's what I'm going to use just for now. 
Purple forever. <laughs> blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. Blue, pink. And that's just kind of a little fun, kind of just, you know, kind of a little fun banner. Little fun banner pattern. Funny, is cause that's actually what they're called, I think. No, that's the actual patterns in it. I like how they kind of like just curved. It's like a stinging beetle or something. Not stinging, like a sting beetle or whatever. Don't know if they're called that, but you know, it's just like a little beetle thing. Okay, now that we've done this little cool curtain design thing, uh, you're gonna want to get. Some iron blocks. Uh, no, not iron blocks. You want quartz blocks and smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stairs. Then over here, just you don't have to do it over here, you can do it wherever your entrance is. But this is just, you know, kind of what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do, okay. Okay, are you okay with that? Lol. Um, but anyway, anyways, uh, you can make this cool little, just little desktop pattern if you want. That's what I'm gonna do. But you know, you just obviously you don't have to be like that. It don't have to be, but it can be. And then I'm just gonna put maybe you know just some secret little battles, barrels, battle, some not so little secret barrels really. <coughs> and then. And then just, you know, I've done a little PC. A little seat there. I think that looks cool. That just looks quite cool though, doesn't it? Maybe some little slabs. And then maybe even a little overhang for it. Oh, yes. That is cool though. That's cool. You can't say that's not cool. Please. And next what you're going to want to do, just in case you forgot, yeah, is make sure that you like the video and to make sure um, that you're subscribed because you might not be, just make sure that you are. And um, you get one million hugs. Um, from Hero Brian, if you ever see him, I'll, I'll make sure to let him know. Uh, and I actually said I was going to do a garden area area in there as well, so I'll do that at some point. But yeah, and then you're going to want to make just you know a little exit into here, not exit entrance, but um, you know, yes, you can just do this and um. See if it pleases you in your pizzeria. By the way, I would love to see your pizzerias. If you um, send me a friend request and tell me your username in the comments, and I will see your pizzeria. I have to be on Pocket Edition though. I can play on Java, but it's harder for me. So, yes, this is much more easier for me. I would very appreciate it. Thank you. Now that we've done this, I might change the floor pattern. What polished diorite? Polished diorite is underrated. And maybe polished andesite and basalt. Weird combination. I admit. I finally admit it. Wait, finally? What?
I don't like basalt. Don't like it with this combination anyway. Quite like it in general. And then you gotta do your little <laughs> corner covering thing, haven't you? You can always get rid of it when it's over. Finally, very soon, hopefully. Please don't get my hopes down. It's gonna be over soon. No, it actually is a celebrate good times. Come on. Yep, that looks quite cool anyway. It's like even you know if it's just not a corona thing, it's quite cool. And then maybe you can just put uh you know just a little slab action slaby slaby action and there and there and there we go and there we go have you even done a little kind of overhang thing here and then you can just you know kind of i might make it like a hole Maybe you can kind of just, you know, sit in your little hole here. Sit in your little hole. And then you can just get something, pretend it's a mouse. I don't know. Button. And just hold it and be like. And then maybe get a little, maybe even get a little table can you oh it can't but maybe maybe make um little counter to you know just kind of put your little button on there we go that looks quite cool i think yes i see now that that is quite cool Get some glass in there. It's more of a bit of glassy, glassy action. Oh. Yep, see, there we go. That's cool. And you just come and you come to, like, you know, just check in. You're just like, hi, can I um, please buy one? Um, I, I want to buy a birthday party here for um, what, what, three children and um, two adults and um, and you'll be like yeah sure and they'll be like yeah thanks you, you make me the happiest person in the world punches in the face <laughs> if you're in survival you could actually just pick that up as well which is quite cool and get it whenever you wanted <coughs> but I think that is actually pretty much all you've got to do and then just maybe you know get a little random block for the um the roof i might use clay make sure that you do not put it over your beacons so yeah you know you can just make your little roof And maybe if you want to change the how the outside looks, and then you could. And I think that's actually how it is in you know kind of some games. That's like kind of you know just the outside. what that was gonna look like right and not really maybe even make a little chimney And then you want to get maybe a solar campfire. That's what I'm gonna do because I think that the blue ones, you know, kind of just look a bit cooler. And then there, you can, you know, you see, you can just kind of upgrade it from there every now and then as you just kind of go along and make it cooler. But that's the basic build for now. And if you want 
<laughs> you can also do, I'll show you a quick hack. Hang on. And one of you know, you just see little buttons in the room, maybe. You can um, just do this slash tp at p. And then just into a random place that can be a security camera. And it's a quite a cool hack really which i think i probably i didn't create it but you know i kind of made it without someone uh, oh wait no i did watch the tutorial never mind <laughs> and then you want to you know kind of just figure out what the coordinates are for that so what seven eight minus two so surround it and barriers you can't do this in survival unless you've got something else some other way so what was it 7, 11, minus 2 or something. 7. What was it again? <coughs> 7, 8, minus 2. Yeah, okay. 7, 8, minus 2. And then you can just be like, okay. And then you can either hook up a repeater and make it a delay. Or you can have, you know, a kind of little, another little command block here. But it's, you know, kind of obvious that you might want to, just, you know, put buttons around for like a decoration and do it for the wall. Then you can do... Slash TP at P to where you know you know to where you press the button and in that case one five minus three is for me that rhymes one five minus three Oh you know like I said obviously you know you can just make it like a little delay so you're only on the camera for a short while you know, your friend kind of gets just, you know, a little chance. Like, you can even make cool power generators with hoppers and stuff. But, yeah, then you can just, you know, see. You can just look up the hallway, see if any of the animatronics are coming. And, um, have a little, just put the computer down, see if they're there. And start looking again, maybe save a bit of power. But, yeah, that's it pretty much done like it's not obviously completed but that's everything that you need to do and this video has gone on for way too long um, and i'll see you guys soon bye oh geez i dropped my phone